In today's video, I'm doing a dip technique with a rainbow color palette. I have red, orange, yellow, green, two shades of blue and purple mixed up, along with a little bit of white for my base coat. I have each color mixed with some Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. And then once it's all dry, I have this really awesome elephant stencil that I'm going to use to add a design on top. So I'm just working on a small canvas, it's an 8x10 canvas. I'm just going to put a touch of my white paint around each corner so that I know where to pour my paints onto my surface for my dip. I'm just using some of the white for each of my edges and then the colors are going to go through the middle of my canvas. Once I had all of my paint down, I just gently placed my canvas into the paint and then pushed on the middle to remove any air bubbles that I might have. And then I just gently lifted the canvas off of my colors. I also dipped the sides so that the sides would be covered with the same paint as the surface. So I still had a lot of paint on my uh, table, so I grabbed another small piece and dipped it, and I will do another stencil piece on that in the future, but I just wanted to use up more of this paint. So I let it dry overnight. I wanted to make sure that there were no wet spots left on the canvas. And then I just took my stencil and um, tried to place it evenly in the middle of my canvas. And then I taped, taped it down so that it wouldn't move uh, while I was adding my paint on top. And I'm using some really nice thick gold heavy body paint and just a palette knife to smooth the paint over my stencil. Once I had my stencil covered in paint, I removed just a little bit of the excess paint and then I immediately removed the stencil. I do not let the stencil dry um, just in case it peels off any of that paint once it's fully dry. So I take off the stencil while the paint is still wet. And this turned out really, really well. That stencil had a lot of really intricate detail. I really like the way that this one turned out. I think it's going to look fantastic with some varnish or some resin on it. But let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. I have a bunch of other stencils and if you'd like to see different background colors, let me know what you like. 
and I can work on some other really fun stencil designs. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit that bell for the notifications. I do put out three videos a week and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching today.